If you're ready to run a PR campaign, whether it's to grow your business or establish your personal platform, you must first identify which types of media outlets you are going to target. In today's video, I'm discussing the three different types of media outlets and how coverage in those outlets will advance your career. My name is Dana Kay and welcome to my channel, Branding Outside the Box, where I help driven entrepreneurs and aspiring leaders like you become more memorable and make more meaningful connections. Media outreach is a necessary component to becoming more memorable, and here are the three types of media outlets you should target. The first is print. Print publications include newspapers and magazines. In the digital age, it's easy to overlook print media coverage, but according to journalism.org and some recent Pew Research studies, over 30 million Americans still read print newspapers. And according to consumer surveys, most consumers particularly millennials, trust print media coverage more than online media coverage. So while print publications are definitely on the decline, it is still not an area we can ignore. The second type of media is broadcast. This includes TV and radio shows that are listened to rather than read. The benefits of broadcast media coverage is that it gives you an opportunity to showcase your personality and share your brand message. Consumers can see you in action rather than just reading about you. The downside to broadcast interviews is that they are more fleeting. TV segments usually only run three to five minutes, and while radio interviews tend to be longer, most people listen to those in the car and the consumer forgets about the interview once they hit the driveway. In order for broadcast interviews to be effective, your brand message needs to be memorable, concise, and there needs to be a clear call to action. The third type of media coverage is online. As you may have guessed, online is the fastest growing sector of media. Year after year, blogs, websites, podcasts, and web series are being consumed at a higher and higher rate. The benefits of online media coverage are twofold. First, it is far easier for the consumer to take action. If they are reading a positive review of your product or watching an interview with you on YouTube, they can easily click through to your website and take action. Take this video for example. If you scroll down to the description, there are links where you can easily click through to my website or connect with me on social media. The second benefit is that there is endless space for content. Unlike magazines, which have a limited number of pages, or TV shows, which only have a certain time to be on air, the space for content online is endless. In fact, the more content these outlets can generate, the better it is for their SEO. So the outlets actually want your content. The barrier to entry is far lower for online outlets than it is for print and broadcast. So what's the downside? Well, online outlets don't have as much clout as print or broadcast. So while it's easier for people to take action on a online review or a podcast interview, they may not trust it as much as they would after reading a review in a print publication or listening to you on a traditional broadcast outlet. That's why it's so crucial not to put all your eggs in one basket. Each of these types of media outlets need to work together in order to create a successful PR campaign. Think about it this way. You're driving home, listening to a podcast, and John Smith is that week's guest. You enjoy the episode, you like what he has to say, and you appreciate his message. Then when you get home, you log onto your computer, you're reading through your usual blogs and websites. Oh, and there's John Smith again, writing a guest article about some aspect of his business. Then the next morning, when you open the paper, you see John Smith quoted in the business section. It seems like John Smith is everywhere, doesn't it? And if everyone is talking about him, doesn't he seem like someone you want to work with? The role of media coverage is to create the feeling that everyone is talking about you, your services, or your products. And that if people aren't doing business with you, well, they're missing out. And in order to generate this feeling, it's necessary to secure coverage in each of these different types of media outlets. Ready to get started? Be sure to watch the next video in this playlist.